Hey Scorpios, I've been doing, I've been doing, I've been called to do your reading today. Um, for some reason, Scorpio's been on my mind all day. So, um, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, I'm doing love readings because it's apparently sort of like a portal day, 10-10, okay, October 10th. So, it's been very energetically charged the universe lately. It's really windy out here. Hopefully this isn't too distracting for you guys. Last time I did a reading outside like this, the card blew away, but it was a pretty significant card. So I'm gonna start off with this energy deck, okay? And see what <clears throat> some energies you guys are experiencing right now because it is a very high energy time, okay? Woman holding a coin, interesting. Man holding a coin, wow. All right guys, so we got Two masculine and feminines that are very focused on their coins, okay? Um, maybe they're sharing a business, maybe you're a business owner and the other person is a business owner. It could be like a king of pentacles and a queen of, queen of pentacles, two earth signs. Very, very interesting to start off. And um, the numbers are 42 and 43, if that means anything to you. And then I have strategy, which is number 21. Interesting. I love this deck. And envy, okay? So there could be a lot of like financial success here and there could be a lot of people around you that have um, envy, but I feel like you guys have been very strategic with your money and your coins and you have earned your way to where you're at. You could be a feminine dealing with a masculine and you guys are like counterparts, okay? Very, very interesting. Seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, okay? So, this is like an amethyst color. If you guys um, are familiar with stones and aligning your chakras, okay? So the seventh is the root, sacral, root, sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, throat. Oh, that's a crown chakra, okay? So you guys are maybe getting a lot of mental downloads and a lot of um, things coming to you mentally, not necessarily like third eye, but like clarity, okay? Also, um, could be getting headaches, all right? So surround yourself with some amethyst here. Woman holding a heart. Okay, I'm not going to take these because very, very interesting. <clears throat> That's number 41. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Dave Matthews number 41. I just thought of that song used to be. And victory, okay? So I feel like you've been very strategic and now you're having a lot of victories. I do feel like it's financial, okay? Crown chakra is like enlightenment. So you could be finally nearing the end of a very like long spiritual journey. I mean, you're never really over, but you could be getting a lot of like clarity and downloads with this um, 10 10 portal, okay? messages we got here just making sure not no other cards flew away what other messages from when spirit speaks <clears throat> overwhelmed transition transformation celebrate water sign this is you guys and learning yeah that's what i was talking about with the um crown chakra but this is definitely you guys or you might be dealing with another water sign transition is and transformation are very scorpio like energies especially transformation so um venus is in scorpio right now it's like the phoenix rising from the ashes there's a very transformative energy going on um scorpio is the most transformative sign okay so um you guys might be going through a major transformation and transitional period okay um, you might be really overwhelmed and like this might be very energetically destabilizing But I feel like in the end you're gonna end up celebrating and you're gonna feel really re like relieved and like um, Like 
just relieved at the end of it okay so i feel like it's really hard right now but it will be really worth it afterwards okay so i'm gonna pull from the twin flame messages not the twin flame messages the mystic moon oracle deck and see what are the current energies between you and your divine counterpart even though it seems like you're both kind of working on your finances here in your business very interesting that you both got that like masculine and feminine okay unless you're two feminines but i mean when we're talking about the t or two masculines or two feminines we're talking about the twin flame journey it's like um you know hmm, this is the card that i was talking about that flew away last time we got return okay so this is i i was getting this message that i need to do a scorpio reading and i feel like this is why this is a very significant card in this deck i feel like there is going to be a return with the masculine it's just a matter of time okay conclusion some of you might feel like this is like a um what is it uh when it's unfinished business okay so you might finally get some answers you might finally get that clarity that's what i'm saying your crown chakra is expanding there might be a compromise okay there might be something you wanted something they wanted and you might come to an agreement in the middle very interesting i do feel like the masculine has had a lot of fear and that's what's held them back in the past but i feel like the scales are going to be balanced it's going to be like this libra season this is a very libra card it's going to bring a lot of balance and harmony and making things right to your situation okay i do get a feeling that there is going to be a return i think that's why i was called to do your guys reading tonight okay it's all about timing and it might have been this message might have been needed because i think that if the person that you're thinking of does return it's important to keep things very balanced and stable and not be too extreme okay <clears throat> I'm pulling from the twin flame shadows and see what other um what other energies are preventing this person from having made a move yeah i got that fear card so secretive <laughs> scorpios know about that all right so they're very secretive i don't think they like all their cards to show escapist could be dealing with a pisces when i get that because i said water sign and self-indulgent okay so um they could be indulging in a lot of like substance use right now and like very secretive about their their whereabouts and what they're doing all right i know this is like a very different energy reading but it's hard when i have all this wind element going on okay so this is my first tarot pull of the reading so let's see what we got here what are Scorpios dealing with? We got a Ten of Swords, a Betrayal, an Ending, a Heartache, and then a Nine of Pentacles. So this Betrayal and this um, situation ended up making you, turning you into a very independent, self-sufficient person where you couldn't rely on anyone. But you might be too independent, another Pisces energy. But interesting enough, we got the Ten of Pentacles. So we got Nine of Pentacles leading to the Ten of Pentacles. So I do feel like you're leading to your ultimate financially stable happy secure ending i'm getting a lot of pentacles energy in this reading so you guys are definitely dealing with an earth energy here page of swords someone is definitely looking at your stuff or get trying to get information of you um also could be c communication but it's like not so evolved okay so it's sort of like a maybe a gossipy energy but there's definitely somebody keeping it at tabs on you okay and we've got five of cups and three of wands so i feel like you guys have become very sad waiting for your ship to come in like you have been waiting 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 and you've had a lot of grief about it and you feel like everything good is behind you and everything sad. interesting there's three cups here and they're all poured over and it's three of wands but i do feel like you guys are going to get that return okay death is on the bottom which is the scorpio card also transformation i do feel like things are going to suddenly shift and you're not going to know it hit you is the feeling i'm getting all right with that nine of pentacles is like the single independent and then all of a sudden it's ten of pentacles which is like the happy ending family comfort all that stuff all right so i feel like you guys are going in that direction and you just don't know what's gonna happen i'm gonna pull from a twin flame messages volume two and see what the person wants to say to you okay i'm sorry i couldn't follow through with my promises i care too much what others think right now 
and you are never far from my mind okay so i feel like this person was kind of like cowardly like they didn't do what they really wanted to do they did what they thought others thought they should do but now they're stuck with the thoughts of you and like missing you okay i <laughs> missing you and then i still remember the good times we shared so i do feel like they look back on their times with you fondly and they miss it and they wish they would have done things differently but they were almost like too cowardly is the feeling i'm getting so i feel like they might return and tell you this because i feel like there's going to be a compromise there's going to be a return and there's going to be two divine counterparts those two cards i first pulled so thanks for tuning in scorpios i'll see you guys next time bye